Anything else I need to do before I get married again? Yes. You need to find a wife. Hey, don't you play games with me, all right? We discussed this. You were going to help me set up a model household so that I could get custody of Star again. Am I right? That depends. You're not holding me up for more money, are you? I already guaranteed you five million dollars. That's not the guarantee I'm after. If it isn't money, then what's the problem? Do you think it's smart to imply that you can buy me? Are you implying that I can't? Oh, come on, I thought we had some refreshing honesty here. Where, where was I wrong? Look, this is about more than money. Yeah, you're right. This is about my little girl's life. And mine. I'm pretty confident that Star is safe with you. I am not so sure that I am. Oh, well, I love it when you cut to the chase. I'll propose some terms to this agreement. If you don't like them, we'll call the whole thing off. You don't mince words, do you? Right, so what is it that you want, huh? Some time off now and then? How about every other Sunday or something? Don't treat me as a servant, even as a joke. Oh, okay, fine, no jokes. You'll respect me, at home and in public. Well, yes, ma'am. And you'll respect my friends. No. No, I draw the line at hypocrisy. You have lousy friends. Well, then you won't deliberately alienate them. Well, I can't stop breathing. Look, why don't we just uh, agree to separate lives now and then? Look, I come and go as I please. No questions asked. Fine. Anything else? Well, if, if this is going to be my new home... I'm going to want to have my friends over every once in a while. Well, wild parties. I'm not a party girl. And I don't have a lot of friends. But the ones I do have, I value. And they don't like you any more than you like them. Well, I have that effect on people. So if you can't promise not to deliberately alienate them, I'd expect you to absent yourself when they were here. Absent? With notice. Of course. And not often. An evening every other week. Fine. Any other rules and regulations? I need a guarantee for my physical safety. You can understand, I'm sure. No, I can't understand. You want to spell it out for me? You know, you either trust me or you don't. Personally, I don't trust anybody. Well, what's the contract anyway, right? It's just a, just a piece of paper. I trust my instincts. I think I'd know if I was in trouble and I'd get out. But you'd probably throw me out first to save yourself, if nothing else. You're a smart woman. If you attempt to abuse me in any way, the deal is off at that point. But I still get the five million plus an additional million as penalty. What exactly do you mean when you say abuse? Any attempt to use shame or intimidation to try to control me. Emotional abuse, using words to hurt me deliberately. Yelling, cursing. Physical abuse, from jabbing an angry finger in my face, hitting, slapping, shaking, anything that hurts, including rape. Don't worry. You're not my type. Rape isn't about sexual attraction. It's about violence. And if you can't understand that, then we have nothing more to discuss. And don't, don't worry. Well, that's settled. Shall we draw up a contract? A role model? Well, you're not perfect. Gee. But, you know, I... I wouldn't mind if Star grew up to be like you. You know, you're, you're uh, smart, you're gutsy, you're independent. You're a survivor. Got a sense of humor. I could describe Blair. Yeah. But I need somebody that's going to take Blair's place. Impossible. Look, uh, no matter how I feel about your daughter, and I, I do like her. She's 
she's a, she's a wonderful little girl. I'm not her mother. No. But all you gotta do is, you know, tuck her in at night and hold her if she gets scared and tell her girl stuff. She needs to know girl stuff. I mean, if you do that, you'll be fine. Easy for you to say. I don't have much experience with them. Um, with mother-daughter stuff. My mother walked out when I was seven. Well, so what? You know what it's like to grow up motherless. I have no parenting skills to offer. Look, I, I didn't know what to do. Star will tell you what to do. And, and I've seen it with you. I just need to know that you're going to do your best. You have more confidence in me than I do. But I, uh, I, I promise to try. That's to learn to be the best mother I can be to Star. That's all I needed to hear. So fine, do we have a deal? This has all the romance of a stock merger. Oh, sorry, what you... You want music? How's that? Mood lighting? All of you can forget about me getting down on one knee. Tia Delgado, will you marry me? It's a... Uh, pay up. Yes. So, let's go. Um, the... It's one other thing, you know, just, uh... If we're gonna do this, we gotta make it look good. So just in case, I, I got a ring. Here. Oh my God. Does this come out of my five million? <laughs> no. It's payback, you know, for not Put me through that whole thing where you gotta buy a wedding dress and I gotta sit around and wait while you get your hair done. Okay. So does it fit? Perfect. Looks good. Positive. Well, let's do it then. What about today? You're on. I would like to go home and change into something, you know, a little more bridal. Why? Anybody else okay. want to invite? Uh, no. No one I know would understand. You? I don't know anybody. I'm not boring. You're telling me. I'll tell you what. Why don't we have a few laughs? We'll swing by Aces, we'll check this whole thing out, and you go get suited up or whatever. We'll s swing by City Hall and tie them up. Ah!